Hey, what up, guys? Lightning Ray here. I want to show you guys uh, how to spec your hero. Well, this squire is based on tower base squire, and I focus on all his tower stats, which they're all at 70. Um, the remaining 19 points, I used them on my hero casting rate, just if I, in case I had to repair anything or upgrade anything. It's a little bit faster, but besides that, I just maxed everything out on my tower, and um, that's about it. For my um, equipment under it, uh, I focused on my equipment part of the character when I leveled up my ammo. <laughs> Sorry, too much Call of Duty. Uh, I mean armor. Um, so what I did was over here, I focused on his attack, mm, base damage for the, no, defense base damage. Same here, same there. And same over here. The weapon and the pet, I didn't really focus on that. It's pretty much simple. I didn't focus on the pet because there's so much better pets out there. So whenever I get a better one, I'll just upgrade it. But for that one, uh, I'll just leave it like that for now. And as you can see, my like, armor is glowing. What color is that? Blue or aquamarine? Whatever the hell it is. Uh, well, this color is glowing because I'm using the same kind of uh material on that ar on the character which over here is everything plated it doesn't need to be legendary or as long as they're the same material like leather the old plate the old chain etc uh you'll get a, you'll get a stat boost on your equipment and that's pretty much it on my uh tower uh, squire and if you want to go ahead and check out my hero stat squire it's right over here and what I did with him was that um, I focused on his hero li hero life hero health hero damage hero speed and the casting rate is a 19 I don't really need a casting rate when it comes to him I focused the other 70 on my blood rage my blood rage is pretty good I love the blood rage just because when there's a lot of mana around you and since the weapon that I have is so powerful and I can just take anything out like instantly. Um, and when you're using that, it takes really long time. You could be on Blood Rage for a really, really long time. It works good against the bosses in this game. On Insane, you could take him out with like a few blows and that's about it. You don't want to ever use a circular slice. I won't even bother. And that's about it. That's what I did. And for my stats, I for my armor, I focused on hero um, stats. That's what you can see. My hero attack is 24, and here is 23. Over here is 23, and over there is 18. My pet is maxed out and is on life and on health. And my high five is on all on poison, which it doesn't really affect as much poison enemies, but you can still take him out. Um, so at my other video on the Ogre Crush, this is where you get this weapon if you do it on hard or medium or whatever. Um, what else do I gotta show you guys? Oh, yes. Um, so what I do pretty much when I go in a game, I first start off with my tower, put everything down, and just switch up to my hero, um, squire. That's pretty much what I've done. And if you want to check out the other video to level up all your characters. It shows you in Glitterhelm Caverns how to level up your characters. It's the easiest way. The last time I did it, I got like 750,000 experience. And um, on this one, I really never focused on him. But let's go to my Huntress real quick. And I have her set up as... Oh, what am I doing? I have her set up as um, a tower Huntress. And... Um, what I did was I brought up her her hero tower whatever 70 70 70 and 70 and the remaining is on the casting rate on her I don't have this maxed out yet I just recently leveled her up but I'll do that later not right now um, and if you're gonna use her as a hero or uh, base character instead of um, leveling it, level level it up leveling up your was the one uh, this you will level up your health 
your hero damage, the speed, and your casting rate, you want to go half-half on these two. And then the rest, you want to use the piercing shot. Max that out instead. If you're going to use a hero, um, Huntress. And the same thing with your mage. And the same thing goes for your monk. If you're going to have two of each, that is. You want to do the same process you did here with the Huntress. And, yep. That's about it. Um, another thing that I want to show you guys is... Where is it? Give me one second. Oop, I forgot. I'm just... It's my memory. I don't know. I'm getting old. But, guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope it helped. And I'll be putting up more videos sooner or later. And, yep, thanks. Have a good one.